Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here playing Alan Wake 2. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the five fully missable collectibles in the game. There are over a hundred collectibles, but only a handful of them are actually missable as you play through the story. The rest of them are gonna be available in the open world as you start completing the game. And you'll get a warning that there's a point of no return at the end of the game, and you'll be able to mop up anything else at that point, but here are five you need to grab as you play through the story. The first one is near the beginning of the game, available when you play as Saga after going to examine Nightingale at the police station. When you exit, make sure you grab the Koskala Brothers commercial for Coffee World up the stairs and to the right. You can grab this for the next couple of chapters though, so don't worry too bad if you missed it. The next one that can be missed is during Alan Wake's story between Initiation 4 and Initiation 5 in the kind of open world main area here. I showed you exactly where on the map you can find it, but there is a little bit of a bookstore here where you can find the writer's journey video called The Dark Presence. Next up is one of the trickier ones in the game, available during Initiation 5, uh, Room 665, which is a part of Alan Wake's story. This will bring you to the Ocean View Hotel as a mandatory part of the game. And the next mandatory part of the game is that you will have to eventually enter the ballroom. As you enter the ballroom on the right-hand side, you'll find a break room here. Here you can save, use the shoebox. And there's an important key here. This is the key for room 101. You may have noticed that room 101 was locked on your first way through here. So now we're gonna have to backtrack with this key to grab the writer's journey video called Visions. The reason this is missable is because the television inside of this room will despawn after this mission. And even though you can revisit the hotel, you can't actually go in the room and find the TV. Excuse that little achievement pop on screen. That was for stunning an enemy with a flashbang. However, it was just a little bit late to unlock. Go through the room upstairs to complete the loop back to the first floor. Use the key to gain access into the room, finding visions on the fireplace mantle nearby. The next missable collectible is also during Alan Wake's story. This is available during Initiation 7 called Masks. You'll spawn inside of the studio and as you leave, you'll talk to Ilmo, the janitor. And here he'll ask you to go downstairs and find Alice's photographs. That is our main objective, but if you actually take the correct set of doors, you can finish this mission and skip this main objective, allowing you to just continue on the game. So you actually want to do the main objective here to make sure that you collect Alice's photographs and you have to make sure you grab them before you leave this building. In order to do that, go down the steps from where Ilmo was, use the light source to alternate the downstairs area, allowing you to gain access into this side room. And then once you get into a side room here, you'll find a shoebox with Alice's photographs. Take the photographs in order to complete the main objective. And now you can actually follow the correct path to the end of the level. And here, once you get through the door towards the mandatory end of the level, you'll have to change the light source. And as soon as you do, you'll unlock the drowning journey video. Last but certainly not least for missable collectibles is a journey video called Initiation available during the eighth chapter for Alan Wake. This chapter is called Zane's Film. You'll end up at the cinema. You will use the Grand Master uh, plot line on the theater hall, which will allow you to gain access into a door on the projection screen. Here you'll have to go through loops in order to continue the story. And specifically on the third loop, you can find this collectible. Show 
During your third loop through this room, the door you took to exit the first two times won't be there. This will force you as a mandatory part of the story to open this door to your left. However, if you then turn around and leave, you won't get the collectible. You have to take one step into the room to get this video. For me, this was my final writer's journey video, but all the ones I didn't show in this video are available in the open world before you beat the game. I will cover all of the other collectibles in the game through a different series of videos. I just wanted to make this for those who want to progress through the story and not worry about missing anything. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Peace.